How's it going, YouTube? You know, I've been hearing some things on YouTube and elsewhere that I thought were issues already kind of put to bed, like um, issues regarding the passport bros traveling overseas. I mean, the same narrative of, hey, you guys are desperate, you can't find a woman over, you know, you can't find a woman at home. I mean, that same narrative is still out there. I mean, I thought that was cleared up a year ago. <laughs> I mean, it would, I thought the whole, yeah, I, you know, I, I thought that was cleared up, but it's still going strong. Um, and I don't know, man, I, I just wanted to, I mean, I guess me saying something about it isn't going to make a difference, but <clears throat> hell, I, you know, I have a channel, so I'm, 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 I'm going to include my two cents. Um, and I already know probably no women are watching this, <clears throat> this channel. I barely even have male, uh, subscribers, but. If there are some women looking at this, whether you're Filipina, I mean, whether you are, you know, Southeast Asian or um, American, uh, we have to we have to look at things in a realistic point of view. <clears throat> um, and I hate to I hate to just speak for. Um, an entire population because there might be men who um, are going overseas because they cannot find a woman. I'm not going to even say that's in, uh, you know entirely untrue, but I will say for every pa everybody that I know or don't know, just guys I've seen their YouTube videos, I haven't seen, <clears throat> I won't say not one, but I may have only seen maybe three what three guys that would consider themselves passport bros that I would say oh yeah he had to go overseas to find a woman it, all, all the mainstream passport bros every one of them could get women some of them been on some of them are TV stars <laughs> I mean none of them had to come overseas <clears throat> but I wanted to point out some things that that if there are any women listening particularly american women i want to break a few things give you a few examples a few a few scenarios that infuriate infuriate a lot of american men that that drive us to it has nothing to do with not finding a woman it has to do with who we're finding and the cooperation we're getting or not getting <clears throat> number one how many guys, guys, tell me, how many times have you knew a girl was going to call you? A girl said, hey, I'm going to call you tomorrow. First of all, she acted like it was a privilege that you were going to get a call from her. Well, I don't know. I'm real busy. You know, I'm, I don't know. I'm real busy. I'm real busy. But I'll call you tomorrow around two. How many times have, has a girl called you at the around the time she said she was going to call it's never right on time but she called around the time she said she was going to call and you missed that call by like five seconds <clears throat> she called you ran to the phone you grabbed the phone hello, hello she hung up right you call right back seconds she could not have even sat the phone out of her hand yet. That's how fast you call back. The phone must still be in her hand because you literally called back three seconds later. No answer. No answer. No return. And you may not hear from her <laughs> for another day or two. I mean, how many times have you gone through that? I know I have. It's like, is that a game? Is it are, are you really so are you really so entitled that you think, oh, he didn't answer the phone when I called. Screw him. He can wait two days. I mean, is that where we're at? That's how it sounds to us. That's how it seems like you're punishing us because we on an accident didn't answer your call when you can clearly see we're calling right back. So we 
were anxious to speak to you. It had nothing to do with us not taking you seriously or wanting to disrespect you. We literally just missed the call. But your response is, uh, hey, you screw you. You should have answered. You can wait two days. <clears throat> that's 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 a scenario that I've experienced several times that that have made one of the things that have made me say, you know what? There's got to be something better. Number two. How how many times have you had a girl who is. Twenty three tell you how busy she is and can't hang out or you know you gotta plan weeks in advance or she just don't know you just gonna have to wait until she can get back to you how many times have you heard a girl 23 and she acts like she's as busy as Oprah Winfrey and she'll tell you you know she, you know she has school well, I'm in college and, you know, I got a job. Girl, you work at uh, uh, Juice It Up. You work at Juice It Up. And you're taking three classes. What? It's like, do you not know we also went to college? We know what it takes to, you know, it, it, yeah, it's a time commitment. But that doesn't mean you can't go nowhere. Then, of course, they forget... Um, <laughs> They're, that you're added to their Instagram and you're seeing them have a oh, lazy day today. You know, you, you're seeing exactly what they're doing. I mean, <clears throat> that just shows a lack of desire to 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 want to get to know you. These are things where and it makes you wonder, well, why did you even give me your number? Like, why did just just say you're not interested? Or, or just don't give me your number or, or, or block me. You know what I mean? But they won't do that either. It's just a, I'm busy. You are not Queen Elizabeth. You're not Oprah. You're not Ellen. You're just a regular schmegler girl who's got plenty of time on her hands. Let's go grab lunch, girl, and quit playing. <clears throat> but they play. That's scenario number two. These are things that I, that personally have affected my decision to want to get up out of here. Number three, how many times have you taken a girl to a fancy restaurant, you know, over 200 bucks, you know, for, for two of you? Um, and I know girls act like that's not even a big deal anymore, but okay. You know, very expensive restaurant, all the trimmings, no expense paid. You take her to dinner. You try to hook up with her again. Three days later, I'm busy. What? So, and and, and mind you, you didn't get anything after dinner. Not and and, and let let me address that real quick. I don't think because I take you to dinner that automatically means you know hanky panky after. In fact, I don't believe that at all. But you do hope. That if I take you to this very nice dinner, it's going to lead to more nice dinners relatively soon, <laughs> right? Like you're hoping that she's going to respond to what you're doing, what, where, where you've taken her. And she's going to reward you with, hey, this was great. Yes, let's do this again soon. How many times have you taken a girl to a fancy restaurant and it took you another month and a half to get her back out for dinner again? And you're like, what in the world? Like, the, if I got the exact same response from you as if I had a, taken you to Wendy's. I, I should have just took you to Wendy's. If I took you to Wendy's, it would have took me another month to go out with you. And I took you to Nobu instead and it's taken me another month to go out with you. You might as well have just taken her to Wendy's and got her a fish sandwich instead of sushi. But, um, you know, these are things that just show a lack of appreciation. Um, <clears throat> a lack of appreciation. I mean, yeah, you know, everyone's entitled to, 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 go, out, to go out with whom they want. And they don't have to go out with you. That's true. Just say it. 
just say, hey, I don't like you, you're ugly, you're whatever, move on. So that's, that's issue number three. Issue number four. <laughs> How many of you guys have met a girl that's five foot two who insists her man is six foot one? Now, she has a five foot seven guy trying to get with her who's five inches taller than her. But that's not good enough. That man might have a great job, head on his shoulders, treats her like a queen. It doesn't matter. Everyone's entitled to their standards. But when it's just kind of outlandish. I mean, no, no, everyone's entitled to their standards. I guess passport bros, though, we want to go someplace where those outrageous standards, because that's kind of an outrageous standard when you think about it. If someone's already five inches taller than you, I mean... You know, I know other things got to be taken into consideration. If he's scrawny or he doesn't look like he could protect you, oh, okay. But again, then why did you even give him your number? Why didn't you shoot him down at the very beginning, you know? But, uh, <clears throat> you know, it, yeah, I mean, everyone's entitled to their, their standards. But we are also entitled to go someplace where that standard isn't as rigid. Okay, if the standard here is six feet tall and I'm not six feet tall, then I have no other choice but to go someplace where the standard of six feet doesn't exist or it isn't as rigid. But that can be very infuriating to be a good dude. I mean, and it, it doesn't stop at 5'7". You see guys that are 5'11", still getting shut out <laughs> because they're not tall enough. I mean, even the five foot seven, five foot five, I, I can kind of, I can semi understand that. If the girl is five foot five and she wants someone who's five foot seven, okay, I get it. But if you're five foot one and your man's five foot six and he has a good job and he's good to you, I, it just seems to me <clears throat> certain allowances, I don't know. I don't want to figure out why women here are or or are not doing what they're doing or liking what they like. I don't want to. I'm no one. I can't suggest or determine what a girl should like. What I can do, however, is go someplace where I fit the description more closely of what they like or I at least don't repulse or repel someone because I don't have a certain um, phenotype or a certain uh, uh, body shape that someone in America might insist on. But ladies, if there's any ladies listening, surely you can understand that we here in America there is a there are rigid standards when it comes to certain things such as height race, um, <clears throat> depending on your race, you have more opportunities or less opportunities, um, weight for women. So if you, it's, and, and then something like height, you can't even really change. So if you feel the need to go someplace where the women are very short <laughs> or just don't care about your height or don't care as much or factor other attributes in besides that can you blame them is that is that really something to say hey you're a loser you you, you had to go overseas of course he's going to go someplace where things he can't change are more accepted right i mean is that really astonishing so yeah you know i know that's a touchy subject but understand that people are going to go where they're most celebrated if they can afford to do so. So that's issue number four. The fifth thing a lot of American men deal with when it comes to American women that
can kind of trigger us to try to go go elsewhere. <laughs> that is the not the, the not so subtle, subtle, not so subtle disres, disrespect when it comes to other men. Now, what I mean, I'm not talking about blatant cheating. I'm talking about the telltale, the, the things that can kind of lead to cheating if it was allowed to fester. And how American women tend to be a little more out there with it. So, give you an example. How many times, guys, have you gone somewhere with your girl and you meet a co-worker and he's handsome and he's cracking some jokes and less than funny but you know okay and she's just <laughs> cackling you know doing the kamala and you're kind of like girl you know you know that now that that's not really a lot nothing but it's just you know <clears throat> you're, there's women that if you bring your friend over or even American women, she's going to sit there quiet until that man leaves. You know, she's not going to try to engage. She's not going to try to, you know, she just kind of knows better. And usually those tend to be women that are only first generation American that do that, too. Now that I think about it, they might be American but they're only first generation. In other words, I remember one time, man. I was, this was years ago. I was dating a woman. She's a white girl. That's what I'm saying. American, it don't matter. White, black, it's, it's the American. <clears throat> I was dating a white girl. And uh, we had some friends over to the house and uh close friends and uh couple white guy and his his hispanic girl and uh, so we had dinner we were gonna have a uh, you know dinner they came over for dinner and my girl <clears throat> proceeded we, you know we all sat at the table my girl proceeded to make his plate first Now, keep in mind, this was years ago. I was in my 20s. She was an older woman. She was in her 30s. So that means she most definitely should have knew better. She grew up in the Leave it to Beaver. She watched, she, 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 she watched Carol Brady. She, she, watched, she watched Samantha Stevens. She watched how they did their, she, she grew up in that era. She watched June Cleef, she watched them serve their man first. But she served that dude first, made his plate first. I was flabbergasted. And then of course, my appetite, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be cool because, you know, there's folks there. My appetite, completely gone. Uh, what's wrong? You know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Then later on, after they leave, whoa, what, what was that about? Oh, my God, there are guests. There are guests. Well, then why didn't you make his woman's plate first? Why did you make his? It was just random. I didn't think nothing about it. And... These were co-workers. To let you know I'm not tripping, the guy who's a friend, a work friend, the next day teased me about, yeah, your woman made my plate. He even knew, he, he, without having discussed it with him, without having talked about it, he knew that was way out of pocket. We know that. I don't know about 22-year-old guys now, but guys listening, your woman should never make someone's plate first. That is a direct disrespect, whether she means it or not. On a subconscious level, she's valuing that guy more than you, man. And that's how I took it, and can't no one tell me different. Now, was that cheating? Did she want to sleep with him? I don't know. 
I mean, nothing ever happened between them, but maybe he didn't want her. I don't know. But what I do know is it's things like that. That would not happen in the Philippines, man. Not that. Filipinas, Filipinas do other disrespectful stuff, but not that. Nothing in your face. You know, you know what I mean? The Filipinas will disappear. They're, they're terrible for long distance relationships. But while you're in front of them, they, you know, I don't know about Thai women. I'll know in a few, a few days. But Filipinas is in your face while you're around. They're very respectful. They make horrible long distance girlfriends. They're going to cheat on you. But that's, you know, I digress, but. It's those things that a woman should automatically know is disrespectful. They will do it. They'll laugh real hard at another dude's jokes. You know, they'll let him in and inside the house while you're gone. Oh, yeah, come on in. Like, what's happening? That, why is he sitting out in the car? What has happened? Why is he here? Like, I'm, you know, maybe I'm just old, but. Dude, those things are super disrespectful, and they do it. And they do it. They do it. So these are just <clears throat> five. Odd, I could name 50, but these are just five things off the top of my head, really, that I had kind of been pondering today that, that made me think to myself, why are people tripping about some guys going overseas to find, you know, find people or meet people don't they know they know what we're going going through here they know how women act here they know how people act here and i don't know if it's the younger girls that are you know capping on you know clowning passport bros or hey you guys put that it's not about not finding a woman it's not wanting to go through the things i just mentioned and more uh, you know, but I don't want to make this video too long, but you guys get the drift. All right, guys, like I said, uh, I'm going to check in every now and then, put my thoughts out there. Hey, I'm, I'm getting geared up, guys. Uh, you know, hey, I, I have an eclectic style. I'm, I'm more the, I'm more that tech, that tech wear dude. You know what I mean? I, I, I kind of like that look. So some of you guys may not like how I'm going to get geared up, but nonetheless, I'm getting geared up. I got deliveries coming <laughs> Deliveries coming through. I'm um, hearing that, hey, it's hot, super hot out there. I remember the Philippines, but I did wear long pants in the Philippines. I, I don't care. I, I believe that, you know, I want to look presentable. But some of the fellas, <clears throat> some of the other passport bros talk me, talk some, a little bit of sense into me. So I ordered some, some shorts that I hope could still, you know, uh, uh, represent well. So we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll do a little uh, 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 unveiling and unboxing when, when stuff arrives. <laughs> All right, guys. Till later.